someone's finally getting back to their senses. All right, someone's finally getting back to their senses. And someone had a sudden realization, okay? This is more like an epiphany, okay? It's like the universe has all of a sudden given them a huge wake-up call, like a smack on their head, a splash of cold water on their face. And now someone's getting out of their head, okay? Someone's getting out of their way, getting out of their head. They're getting back to their senses. They're no more in that self-imprisonment. They're no more in that self-limiting beliefs, okay? That's the good news. That finally, if there was a situation which was being blocked, because someone's staying in their mind, someone who was still in their head, this could be someone who was creating thoughts and scenarios, negative thoughts and scenarios in their head, which didn't really exist, okay? They're finally coming out of it because they have an epiphany, they have a realization, there's like an aha moment, you know, someone's realized something, okay? And there is a brand new beginning coming up for you guys. There is a brand new beginning coming up for you guys, okay? And this is a commitment. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There is commitment, something stable, something secure, something committed, okay? Something that holds value and stability, all right? Okay, right. So what here I see is that uh, there's someone here, because with, with the Hangman and Reverse, I feel your biggest challenge is going to be that there have been things that are stagnant between you guys, okay? Maybe no one's talking, maybe someone's just taking their time, okay? Whatever it is, right? Your biggest challenge is going to be to come out of that isolation and take action, okay? Maybe there's been a long time, a long period where there's things that are just completely on hold, okay? Nothing's moving. Nothing's going forward, nothing's going back, like a pendulum, okay? You guys are just hanging and not doing anything about it. Yes, thinking about the situation, but your challenge is that there's enough time you've given this, okay? You've given enough time to think, it's time to take action now, okay? It's time to make that move. It's time to get out of that stagnation mode and get your motor back and get the ball rolling. You have, you're dealing with someone or on your mind, you have the king of cups in reverse. You're dealing with someone who has huge huge trust issues okay this person has having a very hard time opening up could be dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable or you could be doing this to the other person okay maybe this person was in their head okay and that's why you were emotionally shut off you closed off yourself and they closed off themselves so things were completely on there was just no momentum be between you guys okay but yeah you're emotionally close up okay this is not you this is the person you're dealing with okay you're not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable you're not being open all right right now your emotions are going through a roller coaster right now okay you haven't your, your emotions are not stabilized either you're thinking too much from your mind or you're thinking too much from your heart okay you don't have a balance right now but trust is the biggest issue here the reason for the reading is the judgment okay so there is a huge wake-up call like i said in the beginning okay someone has a huge wake-up call and there is going to be a final decision made okay if you guys have broken up then there's a reconciliation coming in if you guys are together and if you guys have given each other a break for a while it's time it's time to make a final assertive decision okay it's time to make that decision that time is here and this is the judgment okay so this is like a huge wake-up call you could be seeing a lot of signs 11 11 you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities okay so yeah, just pick up on the signs that you're seeing them, okay? The, the signs are telling you something. Maybe the signs are cautioning you or the signs are telling you like, it is time now, all right, to make that move. See, in the past, you could have been juggling a situation or this could be the other person trying to juggle a situation, okay? Maybe they were juggling two people or juggling a situation, weighing the pros and cons, okay? Whether they want to be with you or not, if they want to reconcile with you or not, if they want to make a final decision of moving forward with you or not. Because, and I'm seeing here because this person had trust issues, okay? This person was very trapped in their head, okay? They, they, had, they were paralyzed with fear, okay? They looked at every single possibility of things not working out in this relationship rather than looking at possibilities of how this relationship could work out, okay? That's why they were very unclear, okay? They were constantly juggling and trying to, you know, like weigh the pros and cons or they were just not sure is what I'm getting, okay? They were not clear about what they wanted. Now, what ha what's happening here is I think because of that, there is a lack of communication, okay? There's a lack of spark here, okay? The other person out here, because this person is juggling so much, right? The other person out here probably is shutting off too. And they're not sure if they want to communicate. This is just a lack of communication in the near future, okay? Because they, that, that mojo is missing. That spark is missing, okay? Because you guys could have been on a hold for a very long time. Someone's shut off. They were stuck in their head. 
could be juggling with you. And now you want a final decision, okay? But by the time this person comes back, I think you're losing that, that joy. You're losing that spark, okay? And you're not sure if you want to take action or you want to communicate, okay? At the same time, it could also be that you're dealing with someone very immature, okay? Because we have the king and the pager, okay? That's like a huge energetic difference, okay? Could be an age difference, doesn't have to be. But you're, more, you're the king, okay? You could have given and given and given to this person for a very long time, okay? And maybe this person was still a page, okay? And they're just not ready to level up, is what I'm getting, okay? The page is, the page of wants is someone who's not ready to get to the next level, okay? So, yeah. Just dealing with a page and you're the king here. That's why this emotional discontentment, okay? You don't trust this person anymore. You could love them to the moon and back, but now you're shut off. You have trust issues because this person could have been very, very indecisive in the past, okay? Very indecisive. They could have put you on hold only because they were coming in their own way. Let me tell you that, okay? And now you're losing your shape. You're losing that spark, okay? Or this is just this other person here. Who's just not sure if they want to communicate or they're just not sure if they should take action, okay? Again, that's a very immature energy, okay? That's just someone who's just not ready. So that's something you need to keep in mind. You have someone stalking you. Either you're stalking someone or they're stalking you, okay? But someone wants to talk. So this is a lot of spying, stalking, looking at you, watching at you from watching you from a distance, a lot of stalking, social media, etc. Okay. Someone's watching you or you're watching someone, okay? I think you're watching someone from far. So someone could be watching you from far, but they're not but they're not sure if they want to communicate. See, this is exactly what's going on. You're dealing with pages here, and you're the king here. So you understand the difference, right? You have reached that emotional maturity, okay? You know exactly what you want. They don't even know what they want. You're dealing with someone who doesn't know what they want. Then they feel they're not ready. They can watch you from a distance, look at you, spy at you, spy at you, spy you, spy on you from a distance like fuck, but not talk to you. That's the deal here. Okay, and you in turn are losing hope. You feel it's a hopeless situation, okay? You feel this is hopeless and things are just getting nowhere, okay? But this is a very divine connection, okay? Things are going to happen at the right time. So you're going to have to have a lot of patience, a lot of patience, okay? The only issue I see is that there is a difference of maturity. Yes, this person was in their head for a very long time, but they're coming out of it, okay? But this is going to be like, not like, zero to 110 seconds okay it's it's growing it's going to take some time okay look it's not like this person is not interested in you okay they're just not sure about communicating because they're watching you if they weren't interested we would have had the page of swords in you or someone who just has nothing to say they're just playing mind games now they're watching you okay they're trying to get more information about you but your problem is that because you're the king here right you know what you want you're very sure about what you want you're shut out because they're shut out because they're not making a decision that's why you're losing faith in this connection Guys, feel free to switch the energy, all right? Just, yeah, see? They're holding back. They're holding back. They're just going to watch and they're holding back. And because you're holding back, they're holding back, they're watching you from a distance, right? And you're losing faith because they're just watching. They're not saying anything. That passion is missing. The messages are missing. Maybe this person is giving you the cold shoulder. Maybe just being, they're being very cold towards you, okay? But whoever is watching from a distance is putting in their full strength, courage, and stamina, okay, to hold back. So if, if this person is holding back, if you're holding back from this person and just spying on them, okay, then this person is losing faith in the meantime. Because you want to make a final decision out here, okay? This person is just taking their own sweet time, and that's their biggest challenge. You come out of that stagnancy and take that action, you know, stop the movement. Well, ultimately, there is probably, I'm seeing there are chances of having a breakup or a separation or there is a chance because see, we have the tower already. Okay, The tower is, again, a blow up, okay, a huge blow up. And with the Ten of Cups in reverse here. So there are chances that, I mean, things are just going to blow up on your face, all right? But look, you don't have to be so scared. The tower is, is never something bad. The tower is a good thing because it is more like a relationship that is built on a crooked foundation, okay? You'd rather have it now then be so involved with someone that you later realize, you know what, I shouldn't. It's almost like the universe kept warning you something's not built on a strong foundation. Something's not built the right way. You need to build it on truth. The foundation has to be really strong. Maybe you had a lot of signs, okay? But now, since you're not listening, the universe is going to come and smack you on your head. That's what's happening. And there is probably going to be a separation or a breakup, all right? But this is going to be a situation 
a relationship, a family member, or whoever you're with, involved with, okay? You're dealing with in love, okay? This situation is going to drain you out, okay? You're going to end a connection or you're just not feeling as fulfilled in a relationship that you once were emotionally very, very happy in, okay? That's what I have for you. Um, I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.